one day he, he asked me for my phone number and he told me, oh, guess where I write him? And I said, where? He said, on the wall, the living room. Not knowing that the living room and the kitchen is all connected as soon as you walked into the front door, yeah. And when I went to the house one day and I was sitting in the living room, uh, it's like right there in red on the wall. Oh, yeah, big. Um, maybe almost a foot. Almost a foot long, yeah. He just wrote it on the big white wall. And it stayed there. And my sister-in-law came out and said, oh, you saw your phone number. And I, and I totally forgot about it. And so, because I was sitting and it was like behind that side. So I had to lean over and look and it was just funny. It was I was embarrassed. <laughs> of course, his mom told him to, you know, take it off. But Israel always got his way. Yeah. When he could afford it, he would always buy me roses. Um, oh, red. He would always send me like two dozen roses, if not a dozen roses, and that big Junior Lou and T. And then he would put like two white to represent him and my daughter. So that's what I tend to do today too. We became matured adults several years before he passed away. That, um, I guess through him, he's taught me to not go backwards. You know, could have done this, should have done that. So, I don't, I really don't think um, I've ever come across something really intense to say, I should have told him this, you know, but I'm pretty much content and happy with what, um, Peace that we ended things with, you know, how it ended. Um, it was forgiving, it was filled with unconditional love, everything was reason and purpose.